Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. What are my expectations here in the next coming hours and also we're gonna have a look into the Ethereum price later on. All right, my friends, so let's start here in the four hour time frame because we got a sell signal here in the four hour. It is confirmed right now and Bitcoin had this little pullback now towards the 20 moving average where I was expecting to have very strong support. We are bouncing now at least at the moment from this 20 moving average right at $38,500 which of course is a good sign and we should expect here continuation to the upside. The only problem that I have here in the four hour is that we are losing this green trend line as a support here. So if we are getting now rejected here because the RSI is already trading below this green trend line, I'm expecting here continuation to the downside potentially to bounce off the 50 level and that would mean that most likely we're gonna come down here to test the 50 or 200 moving average in the four hour time frame and this is where most likely we maybe will get here a buy signal so i'm waiting to get another good buy signal in my own indicator to open up another long position because overall i'm still very bullish even here in the four hour time frame we could see a pullback but since the four hour now is trading above the 50 level and we got a confirmed buy signal in the daily time frame i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see continuations to the upside and also here in the four hour you can see that we had a golden cross in the 50 and 200 moving average so whenever the 50 is crossing above the 200 moving average this is a so-called golden cross and that of course is very bullish especially if both moving averages are shifted to the upside and this is what we are seeing right now so that's why i think if, even if we come down here to retest this area we should expect a big bounce from it and therefore continuation to the upside to potentially also crash here this forty-two thousand dollar all-time high and go towards our next target of sixty thousand dollar per bitcoin so since we are trading the four hour and three hour time frame also in my own indicator over on discord and we got here a sell signal i'm just waiting here right now to get another buy signal to open up a long position hopefully we can do that over at around thirty-five thousand dollar. otherwise we will most likely enter here at around 39 or 38 thousand and also keep in mind that on the cme chart we closed on thirty-eight thousand dollar. so that's why i think it it would be very good if we could come down towards 38 or 35,000. So then we can open up a nice long position and also don't have a future gap below of us because at these price levels, if we would open like this, the CME, so Monday again, we're gonna have a new CME gap below of us towards $38,000. And that of course is not a best condition to open up already now above 38,000 a long position. So that's why maybe wait until Monday to open up a new trade if you are not already in a long position so the four hour time frame even though i'm expecting here a little bit of continuation to the downside especially if we have a four hour close below the 20 moving average right at 38,500, that the price will come down towards this 35,000 area and there we're gonna have to see if we get the buy signal to open up a nice long position over there and now let's go over into the daily time frame because also here you can see that after we got here this nice buy signal we started again to trade above the nine daily moving average and even if we come down here to retest this moving average right at $36,500 I would still remain very bullish as long as we're closing daily candles above this moving average but keep in mind that we still could fall towards here the 20 daily right at $34,500 and still bounce from it. So these two important moving averages in the daily, in my opinion, will be the new support if we're going to see here continuation to the upside to then finally break again $42,000 and move towards 60k so even the daily time frame is looking very bullish of course we have to keep an eye also here into my own indicator because if here we're getting another sell signal this could indicate that the price could come back down to retest one of these two important moving averages in the worst case even test here the 50 daily at $33,000 because this is also right now the previous resistance level from this trend line that we had here this previous resistance which now should be 
a new support so we could even drop towards $33,000 and then even bounce from this price level here because latest here we should have enough support right now previously it acted as a resistance and now we should having it as a new support and if we go over into the weekly time frame here it looks like that we could close a very bullish weekly candle if we're going to close it above 38,250 because here is where we close the weekly candle after topping out here at $42,000. So if this week we're going to close this candle above $38,200 this is very very bullish for the long term my friends because this is already indicating that Bitcoin will go very soon to completely new levels so towards 60 k and also you can see that right now we are trading very very close to the nine weekly and 20 weekly moving average so between 22 and 31 thousand dollar so we should expect a very big bounce off of these two important moving averages pretty soon so that's why i think it's just a matter of time till bitcoin is gonna reach sixty thousand dollar because we are so close to these two important moving averages which bitcoin always respects as a very strong support during bull markets so I think if we're coming down here to retest 38 to 35 thousand dollar there we should get a very nice trade opportunity because there we should be able to scale in a nice long position unless of course right now we are starting to close again for our candles above the nine moving average so above 40 thousand dollar then maybe we will not see such a little correction down to those price levels but we'll just continue to go higher and higher but since we have this CME close at 38 thousand dollar and also here confirmed sell signal i think we will most likely come down here to retest this region before we gear up again for another big move to the upside pullbacks are always healthy my friend so don't worry and now let's go over into the ethereum chart because also here i think we could see a very similar thing here right now we are closing four hour candles below the 9 and 20 moving average also here we got the confirmed sell signals up here and also here I think we will most likely come down at least to test you the 50 moving average at $1520. This is all the way previously we had a lot of resistance and now this should be acting as a new support. So important is that Ethereum is not going to fall below $1500 so we shouldn't close four hour candles below this important support otherwise we could see a continuation down towards the 100 or or 200 moving average here between 1400 to 1300 dollar and this would be the last resort for the bulls because if this support here would get broken so if we're starting to close four hour candles below this 200 moving average then we could see a massive sell-off towards the previous resistance area which now should be acting as a very strong support and this is here at around 750 dollars up to 900 dollars i don't think that that scenario is very likely to come because it Ethereum is also looking very very bullish and here I'm expecting also big continuations to the upside towards 2k and higher in the next coming days but at least here in the short term also Ethereum is looking like that we could see a possible retest of this $1,500 and that's why I think about if you want to open up also here on Ethereum a long position over on Bybit or Femex and if you still need an account over on Bybit and Femex so you can trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with a nice long position then make sure to use my referral links down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some extra cash and also you support the channel of course and now we can go over into the daily time frame in the ethereum chart because also here you can see that currently we are getting a sell signal flashing it's not confirmed but that most likely will indicate that we will come down here at least to test the nine daily moving average at 1540 maybe even come down to test the 20 daily moving average at 1400 dollar at least right now at the time of recording because in the next coming days these moving averages will also come up here so i think the 20 daily most likely will reach up here this 1480 dollars area so the previous resistance level which now should be acting as a new support and that in my opinion also for ethereum would be then a good long opportunity because even though we could see this little pullback right now everything is still looking very bullish here and we should expect big continuations to the upside unless we're starting to close daily candles below the nine daily or 20 daily moving average then of course we could be in for a massive correction down to those important moving averages that we have down here especially here the 100 daily moving average at around 750 dollars and the 200 daily moving average 
which right now is at $600. This would be really the worst case scenario if we're gonna lose here these important supports that we created now here above $1,500. The important thing is that we continue to close daily candles, let's say at least above the 20 daily moving average. So Bitcoin and Ethereum are looking very bullish, my friends. We should expect continuation to the upside, even though in the lower time frames it looks like that we will come down to retest the new potential supports. So make sure that you're able to scale in some nice long positions if we're gonna see a bounce because the next big move to the upside will be potentially very huge and that's why you can take like this as much gains as possible and if you're not trading yourself over on Bybit and Femex and maybe try out Primex PT because here you can easily follow other successful traders here you just have to register with my link down below here and also get this nice bonus that Primex PT is offering to our channel here you find the coupon codes that you can use on Primex PT for less fees and some deposit bonus so here you can just easily register top up some Bitcoin and then click here follow on the trade that you would like to follow and since some of them are in ne negative right now I guess that you are able to join one of the top traders over here because some slots are getting free so hurry up if you want to try out the co-vesting feature and now before we're gonna wrap this up my friends let's have a look also into dogecoin because currently dogecoin is still pumping and there is basically no ta that you can do on this coin because if all these uh, famous people and all the tiktok community wants to push this coin to one dollar then of course this coin will just go to the moon and if you are investing some money into this coin then just do it for fun don't put your life savings into this coin because it's just a meme coin. There are no fundamentals, nothing. It's just about having fun investing in this coin. And the good thing is that about half a year ago, I uploaded a video where it says how to buy Dogecoin and get rich. And this was just a joke video. This was just for fun. It had almost no views. And right now this video is going absolutely viral. And I have a lot of people contacting me how to buy dogecoin and here also in the comments area you can read how the people are taking this video seriously but it was all a joke and here I invested like $20 into dogecoin which of course right now are worth way more but this was just for fun my friends and it is very funny to see how this video aged so if you want to see it, you can find it over in my videos in my channel. If you want to have a look at it, it is very funny. And of course, it is nice to see that this coin right now is pumping like crazy. And I think as long as it's getting this hype in the social medias we're gonna see continuation here to the upside most likely so if you have a little bit of cash on the sideline of course you can invest a little bit into dogecoin of course just for fun but don't take it as a very serious investment because sooner or later here we will have a harsh pullback and retrace most likely to where we have been the last couple of years so towards not even a penny so be very careful if you're trading in general altcoins especially when you're trading with these meme coins it's fun to be part of it but don't risk your life savings because of that and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to subscribe to the channel very soon we're gonna hit 5,000 subscribers and we're gonna celebrate it with a couple of $50 giveaway for Prime XPT make sure to be subscribed here I do also daily TA videos on Bitcoin and Ethereum also hit that nice like button to moon it up the more likes we get the higher the Bitcoin price will go so thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.